I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars for June Aquarius. So on the 28th, Venus, the love planet, is going to transit into your seventh house, your soul in the seventh house. And this is all to do with love, relationships, partnerships. So it's a great time coming up for you for romance. So whether you're single or you're um, in a relationship so singles or couples great time for love if you're single you want to get a plan set you know like what what are you looking for what type because you've got all month it's not moving in until the 28th so it's it's in the sign before the sixth house so it's all about getting organized in this house so you want and connections too so you want to get yourself organized with love. I mean, you know, goals and business plans are just not for business. They're for your personal life as well. And for couples, for the start of the month, you know, right for the first three weeks or so, then have a look at your routine. I mean, are, are you like in, your, in a relationship and you're both like going off into your own separate areas of life and never connecting? Uh, if so, then this is the time to sit down, have a chat, talk about, you know, how you can resolve that so you can spend a little more quality time together. Now, you want to do this before the 27th and because around this time, uh, 27th, 28th, then Mercury is going to go retrograde and of course Mercury is the communication planet. So. Um, you know, you're best to have any sensitive or deep and meaningful conversations in the first three weeks. So get yourself organized there. Now, on the 8th, the new moon, which this month is in your fifth house. This is another area of your personal chart. Uh, if you're single, this is an area where you can uh, actually meet someone wonderful that you feel connected with. And the new moon is always about new beginnings, so it's quite possible. Um, there's a, a few times in the year which are really more uh, beneficial for uh, love and relationships. And certainly this month and going into ne next month is for you, Aquarius, but you've got to put the time aside for it as well. Okay, now what's happening on a career more professional level? Now, there's an abundance of planets that are going to move to your sixth house. So you want to get organized with your work. So um, the sixth house is really to do with work. It's also to do with your health, but it's more to do with routines and setting up procedures. So your work plan can feel like, you know, just swamped. So your time management is very important. So, you know, if somebody or something is not high on the high level importance of your deadlines or priority, then fall it to the bottom, you know, let it fall to the bottom of the list. And just because somebody calls you or texts or emails, it doesn't mean to say you have to reply straight away. And sometimes you don't have to reply at all. So, you know, don't be a slave to your technology. And you want to be careful this month with overdoing it on your health as well. I mean, you want to look after you. I mean, when the, when the sixth house is very busy, it can just tempt you to simply do too much. And when you do that, the body has like, I believe, an automatic balancing effect. Like, you know, you may just get a cold or feel tired or, or something like that or stub your toe or whatever, but it, something will happen just for you to step back, uh, reassess and start to look after yourself a little better, okay? Now, my angel advice for the month is after last month's upheaval with the Uranus-Pluto squares, of course, Uranus is your ruling planet. Try to be kind to yourself this month. So, you know, look after you, be kind to yourself, do something special that's, you know, going to, going to nurture you, okay? Because it's not always about being there for other people. Sometimes, Aquarius, you just simply have to be there for you. Now, your numbers, your lucky numbers for the month are 2, 8, 25, and 28. And I've left space there for you to put a couple of numbers in for yourself. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.